Hello, welcome to our project for Maria Martinez, awesome Native American artist who specialized in clay pottery. So for our project, we are going to be making clay pots. So here on the table, we have some of our supplies. I have my helpers with me, and we're gonna give you a quick rundown of how to do this. So first things first, you'll be getting your clay. So everybody grab a plate. Uh, some of the other things that we don't need right now are some tools. We just have some plastic silverware. And then we have a little bit of water. The first thing we want to do is just see how it works. Get comfortable with it in your hands. We're gonna start our clay pots by making the bottom, the base. In order to do that, take part of your clay and break off a little ball. And then roll it up into a nice ball. See how you do that in your palms? You get it nice and smooth. And then we're gonna flatten it. Now you want it to be, ideally it would be pretty even thickness because then it won't crack. But this is how big your little pot is gonna be. And then place that mm, basically in the center of your, of your plate, but wherever. Now, the way that a coil pot works, you may have made one before, is you rip off another little chunk of, of clay. And we're making snakes. You do that by rolling it slowly in your hands. Now you have your snakes. We'll be making a whole bunch of these, as much clay as we have. And then you start wherever you want and you start shaping your pot. Just like that. And you want to kind of squish it down so that it sticks a little bit. And if it's too dry, you can get a little tiny bit of water on your finger. A little slip and that clay will be really nice and sticky to attach it, okay? But that is the whole process. So once you've got that, keep going. And you don't need long snakes, you know? You just need the little pieces of clay. Now, if you feel like it's not working how you want, you are more than welcome to start over, you just squish your clay back up. Now we, of course, just bought clay, nicely made for us. But you'll remember that uh, Maria, when she would make pots, she would go out to a special place and find clay deposits. Uh, she would mix in the right proportion of clay and sand to make sure it was strong. But it's, you know, it, it occurs naturally. We will find clay out there and you can make pottery, you can make whatever you want out of it. Now you can also, you know, you can imagine with these, with these coil pots, you can make whatever shape you want. There's a lot that you could do with these. In Maria's culture, in, in, where she learned how to do this, they didn't use any pottery wheels. This was ex the exact same method that she would use. And she learned it from her aunt, and I believe some other family members, and it was passed down, and it was very much a, uh, a family experience. You can also come in and smooth out the coils. Now you can kind of do this as you go, or you can do it at the end. Yep, you see how you're, you're doing that? You can use a little bit, just get your fingers a little bit wet. You don't need a lot of water. You can also use some of these tools that we have. That's why we have these out here if you want. It's a little tricky, but you could also use a spoon. That's how she did it. She had it on a little a little plate like this as well, and she would she would spin it around as she was working. That's why we're using this. She used a special firing process for her clay. Glazing. It was it's, she didn't use any glazing. What she actually did was polish it, and then she fired it in such a way that it would blacken this, and she created these beautiful, uh, glossy and matte black uh, pots. For us, you are more than welcome to paint these, but you'll want to let them dry completely first, okay? So that's the basics of a coil pot. It's a very simple process. Start by making a base, and then with the rest of your clay, you're making coils. And this is the exact same thing 
that Maria did for years and years, decades of her life. She became a master at it and she loved doing it. And she made beautiful pottery that everyone loved. All right, if you're all done, thank you so much. I had a great time. I hope your pots turned out exactly how you want them to.